the wing, but it's Cranage in there fighting hard for it. Couldn't take it with him. Leak through the middle, bounces through, loses the football though, needs some support. Reed on hands and knees, wrapped up. Umpire will come in and ball it up just on the attacking side of the centre circle. It's an Four inter see. interesting forward structure for North Geelong. Laurie, one man in the goal square, which is Paul Smith, and the rest outside 50. Yes. Hardingham gets it down again, straight to Cranage. Fresh air shot, didn't take it with him. Leaked through the middle, Price there also. Another pack develops, and the umpire will come in, do it for a third time. Just pushed a little bit closer towards the edge of the centre square at centre-half four to Winchelsea. I'm just wondering who's on row here. I think it's uh, Ryan, is it? At, uh uh, Davis. Right Davis it is, yep. Weiss gets it down to the side of the pack. Pretty scrappy in there. And the ball comes out towards Ferguson, who did make it here. Good to see. He tries to get it, uh, paddles it back towards his teammate in Hall. Now Price gets the first effective kick away towards the forward pocket position. Warland and Bowman see it over, and it will be a boundary throw in. 40 metres around from, or 35 metres around from the Winchell Sea goal. Well, I might question on size alone. Bowman on Warland, Laurie, might be a bit of a concern. Yes, that would be a tough uh, gig for Bowman today. So a boundary throw in. Fisher in there also Nolan comes to the side of the pack wall and now a clearing kick for North Geelong outside defensive 50 Ferguson might be happy to see it over the line he is and on the out, outer half forward flank we will have a boundary throw in which we'll see still into attack so the ball about to be thrown in minute and a half gone first quarter no score ball comes in Weiss and Hardingham Hardingham clearly tapped down to Berg handball forward it's uh, intercepted by Barnett for North Geelong he's uh, grabbed Ball comes clear to Leak, hooks it around the body towards and a half forward. Great battle there, Fisher, the big fist into it, punches it 40 metres away. Now there's a foot race. Nobody uh, really gets down as uh, row, toes it forward. Now uh, bounces for him, he's away. Well, had it in his hands and lost it, so it's time to kick it off the ground. Only as far there as Davis for Winch, you'll see. He's immediately tackled by Scown, gets a handball away, and uh, Winch uh, going forward. Nice uh, effort there from Edwards, two and a half forward, taken by Price off a step, has a pot shot at goal from uh, about 50. Well, it does uh, float through. So Paul Price, first score of the day. Four Winchelsea are behind on the Victory Trophy scoreboard. That is the score. Winchelsea one behind. North Geelong yet to score. Two and a half minutes gone. <coughs> so Simon Flack to come back and uh, do the kicking in for North Geelong. Troy Elzinger had the footy, but Flack will kick it in from the last line of defence. If, if he had a go, Laurie, he kicked the middle, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, um, He's a beautiful kick of the football. Well, he comes towards the half-back flank, looking for the leader. Greed who goes up off the back of the pack. Davis kept his feet, goes back with a fly to the footy, handballs it back, sets a task there for Parrish coming into him. Good play, McDonald. Now Harrington tried to get it away. My numbers might be with North Geelong if they can get the, ha the handball up through Scown. Got it back to McDonald. Wrapped up, loses the football. Pretty tight at centre-half forward for North Geelong. Comes out the side of the pack. Is that too high? Yeah. Yes, it is. Free kick going to which we'll see. They put the body on the line there. Might be a Berg, is it? Gets it away with a terrible kick off the side of the boot. Williams might be able to keep it in. Roe bears down on him. Handball's back in board. Winch with the numbers. He looked for a handball back. Parrish, but he left to go himself. Now he draws a play. Handball's over the top to Reed. He gets a shepherd from Phillips. Goes with the right foot kick. Terrible off the boot. Bowman knocks it off at half back. Runs through the line. Handball over the top. Looking for Ferguson, who runs away. Runs into leak. Handball over the top. Missed a target, which was Zulik. He's a left footer. He'll have to come back on that side. He can't. And he loses the football as well. Falls into Leak's arms. He drops the footy. Good tackle by Ferguson. McDonald drops the footy. It's pretty tight in the middle. Now Bogey handballs it to Davis. It's pretty hot. He gets a left foot kick away towards half forward. Fisher and also is there. Allen takes the mark. Still inside the centre square. At centre half forward. Lead on from Kitchen. Goes in that direction. It'll have to be a good kick as Jamie Weiss is there. Falls to the back of the pack wall and picks up. 20 metres out. Left foot kick around the corner. He's missed. And through for one behind to Matthew Wallen. Second behind for Winchelsea. They are two behinds. Victor, uh, and not too long yet to score Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. Well, four the intensity play. and the ball's pretty hard, isn't it? They put their bodies in and uh, it's very, very good at the moment. So Elzinger, to kick in on this occasion, comes to the change room side. Gee, not a great kick, but uh, he's put enormous pressure on Nolan. Eludes a tackle, gets a handball to advantage. Good work. It's gone to row and he's away. Has one bounce. Runs to uh, forward 50. And there's a magnificent pass to the leading Paul Smith. He's taken the mark just uh, on the 50 metre arc. But uh, first foray into the forward line for North Geelong. And it's a Paul Smith mark about... Uh, man on the mark is right on 50. So it'll take a very good kick from here. But uh, the aid of the breeze is to Paul Smith's benefit. And he'll have the opportunity for the first score for North Geelong. Taking a lot of time. Being very careful about his approach and uh, I guess there's a bit hanging to this kick because uh, needs to score. 
moves in on the left foot. Beautiful kick off the boot as he got the distance. I don't think quite. It's a uh, long way down there. Rush Huts behind. <clears throat> so uh, behind off the boot of uh, Paul Smith. It is North Geelong's first score. They are one behind. They trail Winchelsea two behinds. Victory Trophy's first score to scoreboard five and a half minutes gone. So the Blues to bring the ball back. Both uh, teams playing the zone in the defensive half when the uh, kick in comes in and it comes out through Ray Edwards. Good kick for distance, looking for Hardingham. Needs some support on the ground. Wayne White, Wayne Wright was across there, but he's outnumbered. And Weiss gets it away to Zulik. Oh, he turned around before he had it. Now he has to get around. Left foot kick. Winchell see with the numbers if they can keep it in. Zitko gets across there as well. Does well. Handball. Sets up a teammate. The Blues get back their bogey in support. And it is a boundary throw in. Right forward pocket. Magpies into attack. <coughs> and we'll have a... In the right forward pocket, a boundary throw in. Hardigan worked his way down there. He might be up against Harrington by the looks of it. It's a bit of a mismatch in size. Height side, height way. Boundary throw in now. Hardigan keeps his ground, gets it down, but only as far as McDonald. He overrun it. Kick came out of the pack. Wayne Wright and Ferguson see it over. And we'll have another boundary throw in. Moved around about 40 metres <coughs> out from the North Geelong goal now. And would have the aid of the breeze a little bit lower, you would think, in the first quarter? Yeah, just favourably a couple of goals, I would have thought. Off the back of the pack, Zulik wrapped up, loses the football. Hardingham's in there, the little toe poke, goes towards Price, gets a shepherd from Warland, breaks away, needs some support from somebody, gets a kick away in the end. And, uh... Well, Jason's uh, gone off the air. Plug came That's out. That's better. <laughs> That's better. And a boundary throw in centre wing on the outer side. So the ball about to come in, seven minutes gone. First quarter, very interesting seven minutes so far. As uh, Barnett does the ruck work, gets a tap down for North Geelong. Only as far as Walland, who kicks toward the boundary. And uh, it reaches the boundary just ahead of Reed and Fisher. And that will be a great contest. Arguably the uh, best centre-half back in the competition. And uh, Nathan Reed, the up-and-coming centre-half forward. The ball comes in, centre wing out of side. Tap uh, backwards by Hardingham, but into the arms there of Weiss. Handball to Bowman. Great uh, smother there <coughs> for uh, Winchester by Lapino. Ball turns over towards half forward. Well, good body work there by Allen at half forward. Allows Reed to uh, pick the ball up, hooks it around the body. There's a free kick down the ground. Reed dealt with after he kicked the footy. I think the offender might have been Nolan, but the ball has fallen into the arms of uh, Anthony Kitchen anyway, 20 <coughs> metres out directly in front. So uh, it was a mark in any event, but uh, the free kick down the ground would have been Winchelsea. So golden opportunity here for Anthony Kitchen. His first kick for the day. He's had a great year for uh, yes. goal kicking Laurie. I think he's running number two on the goal kicking order, and uh, that's a magnificent that's kick straight over the two. goal. Over the goal umpire's head. It is first goal and a great start for Winchelsea. One goal, two, eight. Need North Geelong, one behind. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, eight and a half minutes gone. Well, you can see a pattern in play already. Uh, Winchard uh, prepared to run with their players, put as much pressure on as the ball carries as they possibly can, force to the ground. They are going a little bit too wide, but uh, they're uh, in front at the moment, so I can't criticise that. North Geelong are definitely leaving this forward line open so uh, Paul uh, Smith can run into it. So uh, there's definitely two uh, tactics there. Give him as much pace as he can. He was uh, uh, played some good footy there, just couldn't kick the goal there before. So back to the middle, Hardingham and Weiss. Weiss gets it down, wrapped up by Lapino. Got the handball away under pressure. Weiss keeps it the pressure on Bogey through the middle. Greed gets away, left foot kick towards half forward. On the uh, ground now, McDonald gets across there first. Had it and lost it, needs to get around, does well. Gives it back to Greed, sets him up though, gets around Leak. Left foot kick to centre half forward was all right. Ferguson was in front, took the mark and will shoot for goal. From uh, 45 metres out. Might be a bit far to go. He's uh, looking for a pass. Smith gave him half a lead, but he just elects to hold it up now. I reckon his pace for five metres got him in front there, Fergie. It was just the first couple of steps were just brilliant. Yeah, I haven't seen him uh, ever stand. Usually better goal. on the run, isn't better he? Better on the run. <laughs> just see what he does here. He comes in off a step and he He's... tries to go for a bit of extra distance and does miss to the far side. So through for one behind. They go to two behinds, North Geelong, which will see one at 2 8. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 10 minutes played. Ball to come back in uh, for Winch once again. Nice kick there from Edwards. It's gone uh, well out the half back flank. Man in front has been uh, yeah, got push. given the whistle there. So Winch will see free kick and uh, go back on the uh, half back flank to take it now. As uh, 
the infringement was paid. So now, winch go forward towards centre wing. Nice lead out there from uh, Lapino. Ball straight through his hands, unfortunately. In fact, it was out of bounds on the full. So the ensuing free kick to North Geelong. Deep on the, the wing, and uh, they are very deep wings here. The ball's come back uh, into uh, the centre corridor. Much better position. Weiss takes the mark for North. They uh, retain possession. Now, very crowded forward line, so Winch have uh, flooded back pretty well. Glorious kick from Weiss into the uh, full forward position at the back. Hardingham doing the roving on that oh. occasion. To Price, put him under enormous pressure, but he's equal to the task. Gets the ball clear. Unfortunately for him, Ferguson snapped it up. Can't get a kick away either. And uh, some fantastic defensive work at the moment for Winch. You'll see. Uh, not allowing North any easy possessions. And the ball has been forced over the boundary line. 20 metres from the behind post. As the ball thrown in Hardingham, taps forward for Winchell C, the defensive place, and now the umpire puts a whistle on play. The ball wasn't going anywhere, so it's handed back to uh, umpire Berbers, who's only 25 metres from the goal line for uh, North, <coughs> as the ball goes up once again. Hardingham again, doing well in the ruck. He's got another tap down, ball toward the boundary for Winch, and over for another throw in. So he's quite... doing well, Eric. He's had uh, actually had four uh, uh, hit-outs, effective ones as well, and uh, well, Jamie's had three. So. Well, worse at the moment, Laurie's back <coughs> on centre wing. He's playing kick behind the game, so perhaps Hardingham, uh, who got the tap down again, the opposition is not too great there. A series of handballs for Winch. Uh, well, I thought they got out of trouble, but I don't think they have. McDonald, he's uh, well, almost uh, coat hanger there. He was bending down to try and get the footy up and uh, cop one across the shoulder, and the uh, umpire said, that's illegal. So now 35, 40 metres out directly in front, McDonald for North Geelong. Another opportunity for North to get a score on the board. And uh, I guess for stability, Laurie, they need a goal here. Yeah, they do, certainly do. So McDonald now moves in. Well, it's a low raking kick and it's gone straight through the middle, I think. That is the first goal for North Geelong off the boot of Brian McDonald. And uh, that's a handy one for them because it's tied the ball game up. One goal, two North, one goal, two Winch. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 12 and a half minutes gone. Did he kick the first goal last week for North Geelong? He did too. I think, I think you right might have. Right. Yeah, I think you're actually right. <laughs> uh, that was a bit of bad play from Winch, though. They took the ball back into their uh, back half a little bit and uh, they turned it over there. And they've turned it over on the boundary line. With that, uh, if you're going to play close to the boundary line, your kicking's going to be very accurate. And uh, that was actually a turnover and they were able to get it back into the forward 50. So... Uh, They've got to get a, bit, a little bit more direct, Winch. Back in the middle, Hardingham and Weiss both get a hand to it through the arms of Zulik. Now it falls to Lapuno. Gets a kick away high towards that R forward. Holds up in the breeze. Wallen from behind Reed and also Fisher. On the ground now, Reed and Wallen. Umpire Hallett will come in. He almost and pull it up there, Wallen. Yeah. He did. So ball up 50 out from the Winchell C goal. He was third up too, wasn't he? Yeah, he's in the middle. Yep. So Weiss and Hardingham. Hardingham uses the body, gets it away to Reed off a step 40 metres out. Kitchen in front. Oh, takes a good wow. mark in front of Elzinger. And we'll shoot for goal from 10 metres out. Slight angle. That's where he's strong. Doesn't it? He's only 5'10, but he's strong overhead. And I'll tell you what, I don't think Troy Elzinger was ever going to reach that ball. So he's just he's pretty quick off the mark, oh, too, Kitchen, isn't he? First so five. He was. There in front pretty easily. A chance to put Winchell C's second on the board. His second and a quick reply after the Ryan McDonald goal. Kitchen comes in and gets it. Two. Has kicked the goal. Two kicks, two goals. So Anthony Kitchen, his second. And Winchell C go to 2-2-14. North Geelong, 1-2-8. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. 14 minutes played. Laurie, that, that's good positive football. They've answered North Geelong's goal immediately and that, that's the sign of a good team. Yeah, and uh, Nathan Reed's had three uh, effective kicks at centre half forward too, so uh, they, if, if Winch are going to play well today, they're the two uh, key uh, players, that particularly on their forward line, and uh, put Wall in there as well, and uh, if they can uh, share the goals like they do Winch, uh, they're capable of kicking enough. Would you look at Flack? Already back on the... Uh, well, he's no use at half-back, is nah, he? No, <laughs> not, not where he is. As the ball goes up in the middle, Hardingham. Another nice tap down to Cranage. He's uh, held up in the centre, and uh, the umpire will do it again. The secondary ball up, still in the centre circle. Actually, I think Flacky looks a bit lost out there in the flank, to be quite honest with you. He should be uh, probably back in the goal square. Well, size match-up is uh, better too. As, uh, Here's Reed again. Said. Well, no, it's uh, Warland on that occasion. Gets a handball quickly to a teammate. Was it Phillips? who had a pot shot from 50, unfortunately offline, and it is another behind to the Winchelsea side. 2 3 15. they lead North Geelong 1-2-8, victory trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 15 minutes gone. So their, their, their centre clearance work is good, Laurie Yeah, Winch. good, very good. Flack from fullback now for the Magpies. 
A couple of short leads on. He wouldn't be wasting his talent, though, with a oh, short kick, I hope. Not with a bruise. Now he comes in, and he does go long. Looks for Greed on a long lead. He's got two against him, but he oh, does well. Troy Greed takes a good mark at half back in front of Nathan Reed. He plays tall, doesn't he? He does. There's a bit of talent out here today. <laughs> oh, gee. Weiss gives him a leap. He elects to go in the middle. He kicks it long for nobody in particular because uh, the Winchell Sea boys get back there and take the mark. And in the middle... It might be uh, Berg or Allen. They look alike. He goes towards Reed off hands. Wayne right in the middle. Get, loses the football. Fisher could have been holding the man, but play on the call. Williams comes at it. The numbers with which will see if it sits. Davis. He hasn't got much in support, though. He gets around Weiss. Now he goes back towards centre half forward with a kick over the head of Bogey. Allen couldn't take the mark through the middle. Now Ferguson. This is where they use their pace. The Magpies through the middle. Scan if it sits rooms away. Then he tried to tap it on. Hardingham. Oh, Ferguson backed it up again. Harrington. He's held without the footy. Play on the call. Wayne right to centre half forward. Reed comes out again, having a, an absolute day out so far. Kick around the corner to Kitchen on a lead against Elzinger. One on one in the forward pocket. Kitchen. Keeps it in front of him, and Elzinger pushes him and the ball over the line. We'll have a boundary throw in 30 metres around for the winch goal. Well, Laurie, perhaps that's the only time that Elzinger's going to have a chance when the ball's the, actually on the ground. On the ground yeah. In the air, Kitchen <laughs> might be in the ascendancy. So a boundary throwing, Weiss gets his, works his way down there against Allen, takes it out of the ruck contest to read again. 50 out off a step torpedo, punt has missed. And Kitchen used oh. the body and nearly took the mark. Oh, in fact, it's out of bounds. Back. And it will be a boundary throw. Bigger ground than what it looks. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thought that was going through from behind, but uh, Kitchen got a hand to it. So a boundary throw in right forward pocket. Allen from behind. Nolan against him. Nolan in front gets it down. Cranage can't take it with him. Weiss is there. The big man does well. Gets around a couple. Gives it back to Sam Hall off a step left foot kick. Terrible to Brian Davis. He takes the mark for Winchell C at half forward. Fisher standing the mark, which means Reed somewhere. He goes now, comes back in, takes a bounce, backs himself, goes from 50 out, put, pops up in towards the square. Kitchen's there. Oh, Weiss. Great mark, Jamie Weiss. And saves the day for the Magpies. Will try and clear from the last line defence. Chips the ball over the top. It's okay to Sam Hall. I think Sam might want to do a better effort with this one than the last one. A bit indecisive, holding it up in defensive 50. Not much to kick to. Alex to go along towards centre wing. Out there looking for Barnett. And he can't take the mark under pressure from Parrish. Off hands. And we'll have a boundary throw in on the outer side. Centre wing. Winch will see 2-3-15. They lead North Geelong 1-2-8. So I think Troy Elzing a little bit uh, sore down there. Jamie, you always used him as a step when <coughs> he took that mark before. But all's well as the ball is out of bounds. Out of centre wing. Comes in there. Tapped down by Ferguson doing the ruck work. As the uh, ball handled by Zulik. Picked up by Luke. Another kick into the uh, forward 54. Winch will see. Well, off hands, it was grabbed by uh, Reed really? once again to fall for into the arms of uh, Kitchen. Runs into an open goal, and he's kicked his and the team's third. Terrific work, Winchelsea, in the forward half. They go to 3-3-21. Three, three, they lead North Geelong 1-2-8. Bear in mind, they're kicking against the breeze. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 18 minutes gone. Uh, it ain't working too well there, is it? Uh, it's not working too well at the moment, is no, it? No, it is not. Uh, uh, no, it's, it is not. They're uh, struggling a little bit there at the moment. What's going on here? Point, was it? Well, I actually think... It was a free kick. No, I actually thought, in the first instance, I thought Anthony Kitchen actually ran through the goal line, just to tell you the honest truth. It must have. He, well, he has. He obviously has. Anyway, the ball's in the middle with Brad Scan. It goes long towards Paul Smith on a long lead. So we'll have to get that one checked out. Zitko over the top of it, hang on, ha, held on to. No free kicks at the umpire. On hands and knees, the Blues try and work it out of defence. Getting uh, back there was Van Vliet for uh, Winchell C. And umpire Jack Burvis will come in and ball up about 30 metres out from the North Geelong goal. Get that checked, Eric. I well, think that's what happened. Well, the score's on the board, and I've got the score down. I OK, well, we'll see if it changes at quarter time. It is 3-3 three, three to 1-2. Hardingham gets the uh, the uh, tap down towards Zulik, who is pushed off the football, back towards centre-half 40. He's over the top of it now, and he needs to get rid of it. The umpire says holding the ball, and it will be a free kick. The winch will see it centre-half back. Made no effort to put no. it out. No, Paul Price, he had a chance there to get it out, and couldn't do so effectively, so Price from centre-half back. Looking for some leads. Reed gave him half a lead. Also there was Allen. He's got Lapino wide. He goes into the middle. Oh, terrible kick from the coach. But luck's a fortune. Davis runs onto it. Gets past oh, Cranage and shows running. a turn of speed. Handballs it out wide to Wainwright. If it sits through him, he's 45 out and closing. Goes towards the goal square. Reed's yeah, there and, and will get down, down the, the ground. ground. Yep. So, well, let's see. I think umpire Hallett might say it comes back. Does he? No. 
I think it was in the act of kicking, so I think that's probably why it will come back to uh, Wayne Wright. Gee, I reckon it was after he kicked it. I'm just saving the umpire's graces there from a little my, bit. From my angle. So Steve Wainwright has got the footy 45 metres out from goal. Might be too far out for him to score. But expect a, uh, a kitchen fly or a reed fly or a wall and fly. Well, they're both there, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, Weiss will be there. Fisher's there as well. So we'll see. Wainwright comes in 45 metres out, sets it up. There it is. It drops short. Reed and front, Fisher. Oh, it didn't take the mark, though. Lapino, handball back towards kitchen off the ground. And through, touched for one behind. Two inch will see. So they go to 3 4 22. And North Geelong 1 2 8. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 21 minutes played. Uh, kitchen what, 3 1, is it? Yes. Yep. At this time, all being equal. The kick in came from uh, Flack. The short kick in went to Elzinger, and his kick has gone to uh, centre wing to uh, Groove, Reed. who's taken the mark. He kicks long towards the lead at half forward from Harrington. <coughs> but uh, great defensive work out there. Well, the scoreboard's oh. gone back to 2 4, so. I suspect that that goal that Kitchen kicked was not allowed. All right, well, well, let's let's concede that to be correct. So Kitchen has only got two at this point in time. Hutchison so, on, Price off. So that's an interesting move. As the ball is now out of bounds between wing and half forward flank, out of side here at Winchelsea. So the boundary umpire to put the ball into play. Hardingham and Weiss doing the ruck with you. Hardingham, another nice tap down, but uh, Lapino not able to get clear. Weiss kicks it off the ground. Long uh, handball there from Winchester, looking for his teammate in Wainwright out there. And uh, that's been a great battle, Wainwright and Ferguson out on that wing, both pretty quick. So there's uh, quite a bit of changing in the, some of the matchups going on. The tap down from Weiss to Barnett, back of the pack on that occasion was fantastic. And uh, it seems to be all Winchester back in the back half there and through a series of handballs, they get it to leak. He drives it back to the middle of the ground, not a good kick. Cranage, good position. Takes the mark, plays on quickly, has players loose in Scown and Grew. Scown takes the mark, he goes goalwards. It's a long kick, but it's a long way back there. Oh, and Paul, Pro uh, Paul Smith, running with the flight of the football, has taken the mark perilously close to the goal line, although we're a fair way from it. It might be three or four metres out. But in the goal square, Paul Smith of North Geelong has taken the mark. So good work both by uh, Grew with a bit of uh, shepherding. Scound with the long kick into position and the mark finally to Paul Smith. So 23 minutes into this first quarter. The opportunity for North to uh, get a little bit closer. Smith, he doesn't miss those. That's his uh, first goal for the day. The second for North Geelong. They go to 2 2 14. They trail Winchelsea 2 4 16. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. 23 minutes gone. Uh, just a quick swallow over the footy. Hardingham's had uh, seven hit-outs, effective ones as well. Uh, Weiss has had four, so he's doing a pretty good jo job there. Uh, Nathan Reed's had seven kicks in the first quarter. Andrew Leake has had two. Anthony Kitchen's had four kicks and what we're giving him for two goals. Uh, Troy uh, uh, Greed has had uh, four kicks. Brad Scan, that was his first kick. And Rowie's only had one kick as well. So back to the middle, two points of difference, late stages of the first term here at the Eastern Oval between Winchelsea and North Geelong, Weiss and Hardingham, umpire Ververs has the ball in hand and throws it in the air, Weiss gets it down on this occasion, now goes towards Zulik and standing on the top of us, Harrington as well, Winchelsea fighting hard for it, the umpire will come in and ball it up just on the attacking side of the centre circle for North Geelong, big pack around the plate. Umpire Burbis throws the ball in the air. Hardingham, Weiss gets it down to Scan on the side of the pack. Kick off a step only as far as centre half forward. Harrington did well. Weiss did even better to get a kick towards Smith. One out. Got a great play at the back by Watson to get a hand to it as he looked like he might be kicking the goal. Smith, he might still have a chance. Itko tried to toe poke it on. Getting back there also was Van Vliet for the uh, Winchelsea side. And it's off hands and out of bounds in the right forward pocket. Magpies into attack. It was good unlucky, uh, Zitko. He only had to get the foot onto the footy. And Smith was, was there by himself, clear. wasn't he? Yeah. So a boundary throw in over the back of the pack. Parrish got it down. Handball, though. Came back towards Barnett on the right side for a left footy. He ran back, ran back 30 metres and gave it to Cranage. Put him under pressure. Weiss lost in the sun. Now he just ch chips it towards uh, a good pass, too, to Harrington. And he's taken the mark 40 metres out from goal. A chance to put North along in front. You don't expect players to be sealing their eyes from the sun, Laurie, at uh, this no. time of the year. He's a left footer, is he? Or he is. is. Yes. So Kane Harrington comes in. 40 metres out, slight angle. And 
has missed it, I believe, to the near Kicks side. Kicks like a fullback. Through yes. for one behind to Kane Harrington. So they go to 2-3-15, North Geelong. Which you'll see 2-4-16. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 25 minutes played. So Watson, who's kicked in very nicely so far for Winch, will do it again. As, uh, as Jason mentioned, the zone defence, well, you give a bloke a rap and that's a terrible kick on that occasion. But Winch, they get uh, the ball in the middle of the pack, kicked it out into the open. Here's a foot race, Hutchison and Eesh. Ferguson. Hutchison oh. does well, gets to the footy first. Gee, just. But uh, Ferguson <laughs> gave him 20 <laughs> metres out, I've got to say, <laughs> and almost caught him. Jeez, I tell you what, if he's a racehorse, money on him. <laughs> Brilliant speed there as the ball's out of bounds, out of centre wing once again. Hardingham, unopposed, gets a tap down to Hutchison, kicks it back, uh, bogey. Left foot kick towards half forward. Good body work there by Allen, but can't get the footy. Hutchison, the drop of it, gets it forward. Warland, ball underneath him. Bowman on top of him, and uh, umpire Burbers has put the whistle on play. And uh, between wing and half forward, out of side for Winchelsea on this occasion. Kicking to the Winchelsea town end. About to put the ball in the air. We've been playing 26 minutes and an interesting first quarter. Hardingham again gets the tap down. Cranage intercepts, can't get a kick away. Very scrambly in the pack there, and I think the umpire will put a whistle on play again and put the ball in the air. Troy Greed was in the middle of that. Kent came out with a footy, but unable to get clear. As the ball goes in the air, big pack of players around the footy. Weiss, clear tap down on this occasion, but nicely tapped forward by Wall and Hardingham. A little bit of a kick, but the ball finally uh, brought out of the middle of the pack there by Lapino towards full forward. Against well, Kitchen this time. There's, no, which way is he going? The umpire's blown a whistle yeah. his way both ways. And Elzinger finally has got the free kick now. Called the play on. Kicks it wide to the outer side. Good choice. Cranage out there takes the mark. Well, if he'd had the ball properly, he was gone. But he uh, fumbled it and had to go back now and uh, have the kick. So Cranage now. Long kick over the centre for North Geelong. The back of the pack leak. Read it pretty well. Comes around. Handball to uh, a running player. It's uh, That was Edwards. It does well. Kicks the ball over the centre back to the half forward line. Hall oh, Reed going very strongly at the footy. Unfortunately, it bounced badly for him. Now North in the van as it's uh, to Bowman. Over the top. Nice bump as he kicked the footy and the ball comes to centre wing. Rowe picks up the ball, the bouncing ball. Does well. Hooks it back in. Geez, uh, Given Barnett a fair task there, Luke, body work, McDonald, but finally comes to Barnett. He's on the left foot and hooks it around the body, but unfortunately he doesn't hook it far enough, and uh, it's out of bounds on the full. Great pressure there by Luke, and uh, that's a great battle up there, one-on-one, -on -one, although I think Zulik might be running with uh, Luke. Mm. Yeah, I so, think Zulik's with Luke. So there's some very, very interesting matchups, and uh, you've got to suggest Winchelsea are getting the better of at the moment as the ball now kicked back towards the wing. Well, Wall and clearly tapped uh, Row out in that contest, and uh, the umpire, well, it was a high tackle on holding the ball. The umpire's called it uh, even Stephen, and uh, we'll have the ball up just inside the boundary line, I think. Yes, the ball's been handed back to uh, Jack Burbers. Just inside the, band, the boundary line, through centre wing. The ball goes in the air once again. Hardingham clearly tapped down. Cranage strong in the pack there. As the siren sounds, 28 and a half minutes, first quarter. It is quarter time here at Winchelsea with the home side, Winch. Two goals, 4-16. Leading North Geelong 2 3 15, and that we will have that verified when the goal umpires come to the middle, we hope. And for the goal kickers for Winchelsea, two to Anthony Kitchen, and for North Geelong, goals to Paul Smith and to Ryan at McDonald. A point the difference at quarter time, take a break and be back with the second quarter action of our match day live coverage this afternoon on 94.7 The Pulse, your home of local football.